Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So welcome to yet another exciting DAX video. The DAX that we're going to cover today is going to be very important for you to understand. And this will be used again and again in multiple scenarios whenever you start working with data. Okay. And the DAX that I'm talking about is called Calculate. And we will also see how we can use Calculate with a specific DAX function called All. And in what scenarios we can club both of them together to get desired results. Let's go. I have this data set here. Uh, this is the same data set that we used in our last video, which contains a list of names of a couple of students and the subjects that they are studying and the score that they attain in one of their semesters. Also, I have another table with, a, with the same list of students that I had in semester one score table with the scores that they attained in semester two. And for ease of use, I have merged both the tables together so that semester one score and semester two score are in the same table like this. I'm going to rename this as master table. Now, before we get into the topic of how to use calculate and all together, it's important to understand what is calculate function. Now, although I have covered this topic previously in one of my videos, but just in case you have not seen that video, I'm going to give you a quick recap of what calculate function is all about. So in essence, what calculate function does is it evaluates an expression utilizing a filter criteria that you provide. Let me give you an example. So let's say you want to know the sum of score acquired by a student B in both the semesters. Okay. So for the do that, I'm going to insert a new measure here, score by B and I'm going to write calculate sum of master semester one score plus sum of master semester two score in the filter parameter i'm going to write name is equal to b now let me drag this new measure into the canvas to see what's happening i'm going to drag it into a card so now i know that student b has acquired 390 across both the semesters also one more important thing to keep in mind Right now, our filter parameter is not complex. It's simply stating a particular table column name and using an equal operator to define what kind of filter we require. But just in case you want to use multiple filters, you can do that by applying a comma here and then adding your second or third filter, whatever it is, right? And also one more thing to note is if you want to use a measure inside your filter, you cannot directly apply that measure here. In that case, you will have to use the filter function here and then use the measure that you want to use. We'll see an example of that as well. So I'm going to create a new measure and it will be a simple measure where I'm going to assign it a value maths. Now let's say I tweak the requirement a little bit. I want to see the total score attained by B in subject maths. Okay. So I'm going to use a second filter criteria and this time I'll try to use a new measure that I created. Now if I press enter, it will give me an error. Okay. That is because in this filter parameter, I cannot directly use a measure in case I want to use a measure, I would have to encapsulate that inside a filter function. So table would be master and the filter expression would be this one is the first expression. And if you remember, we learned about operators. So double ampersand designifies an and condition. So I'm going to say filter master table name is equal to B and I've clubbed it with another condition subject is equal to measure. Measure is nothing but the text that we entered into that measure, which was maths. Now, if you see, it has given me the score attained by B for maths in both the semesters. Now I'm going to just remove this filter here and I'm going to just use master table name is equal to B. Now, since you got an understanding how calculate works, let's understand in which scenario do we require to use all alongside calculate. So I'm going to drag in another visual and this time a matrix. And here I'm going to 
create another measure or uh, let's say we can utilize this measure only and i'm gonna add both semester one and semester two scores together sum of sem one score plus sum of sem two score okay and i'm gonna name it as total score and then i'm gonna drag it here as well and then remove semester one and semester two score because i don't require it anymore now let's say you want to identify how much percentage does each student have in comparison to the grand total that we have here now for this scenario you might think that we can straight away use percentage of grand total from here right but if you use that this will be creating an implicit measure if you remember we covered what is the difference between implicit and explicit measure in my previous videos right so you understand that implicit measure are not that flexible to use so it's always better to have an explicit measure so that you can drill down into multiple columns and multiple values without any difficulty so for that to happen there are two things that are required first one i would need a total count somewhere as in a count of this 1418 somewhere so that I can divide 327 with that grand total to get my percentage. Because this total exists separately, you cannot refer to this total anywhere because this is something that is created by Power BI as an implicit measure and you would not be able to use this in your calculation, right? So to use this, in your explicit measure create a new measure i'm going to call it grand total i'm going to write calculate and then i'm going to use this new measure that we created which was total score and in the filter criteria we're going to use all okay and what all does is it removes any other filter context that is already there on that table so right now in this table the values are split on the basis of the name column right so each student has their own particular row item and we do not want that. So that's why we're going to write all and inside all, I'm going to use this table name, which was master table. That's it. Now I'm going to use this grand total inside this table so that you see what's happening. So as you see now in the grand total, I have this 1418, but our work is not done. I'm going to change the name of this measure, grand total percentage and I'm going to use total score divided by the grand total. Now, if I apply and convert this into a percentage, you will see out of the total marks these students scored, A has 23% of the total and B has 28%, C has 23 and D has 26. Cool, right? So this is how you can club, calculate and all together to supersede any particular filter or grouping that we already applied on a particular table or a visualization. I hope this was helpful. So that's it for today. If you're liking my content, then please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.